What's up, guys? So in this video, I'm going to probably make this a series. I'm definitely going to make this a series. There's probably going to be like three videos. And I'm going to show you what I've learned with using my DMX 3.0, how to patch in fixtures, how to edit fixtures, and then how to MIDI map and what that looks like with creating live shows. So if that's something you're into, stick around, check this out. We are going to jump into my computer. This what you see here is what I already have made uh, with all of our macros and scenes and everything that what we want to do when we go out to live events. But I'm going to open up a brand new project so that you guys so I can walk you through um, the whole system here with just patching in lights. We'll go over editing and then we'll go over the live tab with MIDI mapping to a MIDI controller. And we'll also talk about a few other things, but let's dive right into it. I'm going to open up a new project. If you don't know, my DMX 3.0 is a little box like this. You have to buy the software and this to, you have to buy the software to be able to use a MIDI controller with it, I should say. If you don't buy the software, you can only, I think you can only program your keys or you can just have to click on the buttons on the screen. But this is very similar to like our other DMX system we are using, Airstream DMX Bridge, just a little smaller box. But let's dive into the computer here. So we have a brand new project open. First thing you want to do is go to patch. And I'm going to probably, I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about DMX uh, lighting, that you understand universes, you understand DMX channels and fixtures. So I'm going to assume you know that. So we're going into this. We're going to patch in fixtures that I currently use. So one fixture that we use is the ADJ element hex. So I will type in ADJ elements. Element hex IP is the one that we have. So when I click on this, you'll see it has five modes. So if I click on mode one, you want to see down here, it says channels. The channels are changing as I go through this. Um, I use mode five because I set my, my element fixture onto channel 12 channel mode. If you don't know what that means, basically you have 12 faders of function inside your fixture. Um, so back on here, DMX, everything's gonna be DMX universe one for me. First DMX channel, this will automatically repopulate with the next fixture I load in. But one, because I don't have any other fixtures loaded. The number of fixtures, this could be, you know, this could be 20 for you. This is however many uplights you want. If you wanna put them all on separate channels. I want all my uplights to do the exact same thing, so I only I treat it as there's one uplight. So I would just do one number of fixture, index number, just leave that alone, and at the bottom you'll hit patch. It loads up. You see right here in your universe window, <clears throat> channels. If I hover over this element hex, number of channels 12 and this is actually eating up number one through number 12 and you can see here channel 13 is the next available channel so when i program my next light in it's going to start at channel 13 so i know when i am setting the channel dmx channel on my lighting fixture it needs to be dmx channel 13 or channel one depending on which one i'm trying to control but my Elements need to be on DMX channel one for me to control them how they are set up right now. All right, so you see that. You can see down here in the bottom left, <clears throat> these are my 12 faders that control the light. The first six are going to be colors, and then I have a dimmer, I have a shutter, and then I have other effects. 
But for instance, if I wanna turn my shutter dimmer up and then a color on, and now I can see I'm making a red color. I'm making yellow, I'm making green, I'm making blue, I'm making a, d a deep blue. And then you can see on the right side there, this square represents my fixture that I just patched in. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and patch in another fixture, which is going to be my focus spot. Four Zs are the ones that we use. So I type that in, populates, same thing. I need to go down and check the modes. So 16 channel, 18 channel, 22 channel. This is what we operate off of 22 channels. And you can see universe one, the first DMX channel is gonna be 13 because our element is eating up channels one through 12. So now we start at 13. Number of fixtures, we are actually gonna change this to be four because four is gonna be the most amount of uh, focus spots that we bring out. So just for programming purposes, I wanna treat this as like I'm bringing every single light out. So even if we don't bring them all out, we're still able to function. So, and the purpose I wanna bring four out and I don't want them all to do the same thing is because sometimes in a room, you need to have separate control over your lights. So for instance, if you are not centered on the dance floor and your lights aren't centered in the dance floor and you need to move one slightly over to the left, if they're, if they're paired together, they will both move together rather than picking one or the other. Hopefully that makes sense. But we're gonna patch in four and I'll patch them in and now you'll see they show up in my universe. They're eating up a lot of the universe channels. Um, and then you'll see the bottom right quadrant, we have four new squares. And you can see in the bottom left quadrant, we have a lot more faders, 22 faders, because we picked that mode three to have 22 channel settings. Um, and then you can also see in the very bottom of the screen, these buttons down here, you have general, which this shows you all the faders in your 512 universe, right? So this is all of them. We're not using all of them, but that's just an easy way to see all of them. And then you can click on each uh, fixture to just see their faders, right? So we can control just one focus spot um, if we wanted to, right? We can control one uh, or we can tr control all four. But I'll get into more of the editing uh, here shortly and what we wanna do to make shows um, or macros, I should say, because the purpose of this, we're gonna program something like this, a MIDI controller, and this is just a Akai Mini, APC Mini. Um, we're just gonna control the lighting macros with a controller to have live uh, control and customization over our lights during a live performance. But that's gonna do it just for this first video. I just wanted to touch on patching in fixtures. The next video, we are going to review how to edit the fixtures, change colors, and make macros. So check out the next video.